so hello everyone welcome back to my channel ub tech zone and today we are going to discuss a very important thing that is student microsoft student ambassador program so uh, in this video we are going to cover all the steps what we have to do during the registration so i just covered all the things in nine steps uh, just keep uh, your eye, eyes and uh, watch all the steps okay so the the first step that is uh, registration process so firstly you have to select your quarter what exactly this quarter means so the microsoft ambassador program runs over the year in quarter for example the first quarter is january to march the second one is april to june the third one is july to september and the last quarter is october to december that is right now uh, it's running okay the last quarter of the year so you can choose your quarter and start your registration why this uh, quarter is exactly so for example if you are doing the last quarter that is uh, right now so you have to complete your target within this three months uh, before the 30 december so that you can get your onboarding mail in this january in the next uh, first month of the quarter so first once you select your quarter you have to go to the microsoft ambassador website and you have to do registration okay i will just uh, attach all the links in the description also you can uh, go to my channel i i already cover all the videos like how to register step by step like whatever you are uh, like i discuss in this video i already covered a detailed video on that that okay so for this is the first step you have to uh, select your quarter and do registration once you do that uh, within a, like you know two or three hours you get a email uh, to join microsoft discord server you get an email with microsoft discord server you have to join the server like uh, and you have to unlock all the channels of the microsoft server how you can do that i already uh, discussed in a detailed video you can go and watch that after this we, it comes the step three that is contributor id so once you do uh, the new registration within 24 hours you get your contributor id and this is the very most important thing in the microsoft student ambassador program because all the uh, all the you know criteria all the target you have to achieve uh, this is the this is the thing con that contributor id is going to you know count your numbers like exactly how you completed that or not how many uh, things you have done uh, in the like target so what exactly uh, your criteria and uh, things will be you will uh, get to know in the next step okay so once you get your contributor id you have to choose your path okay so for example uh, the in the email uh, where you get your contributor id there is a another link of the handbook so what exactly in the handbook is like there is a uh, detail uh, of all the path what exactly you can choose how you can do your contribution to get onboarding mail so there is two path the, the one is a skillers path and the another is uh, another one is influencers path so you have to select one whether influencers or the skillers and you have to attach your contribution id with the links of that particular path then uh, you have to share this uh, uh, links over your you know uh, like i will cover in the next step so this is the thing you have to select your path after contribution from the handbook or also you can go to the website uh, my channel and watch all the videos i cover like you know i cover about uh, skillers and influencers i all, uh, all already discuss uh you know comparison of between skillers and influencers you can go and watch that so the next step is that is create your own link with the contributor id so once we select our path whether skillers or the influencers we have to attach our contributor id and create our own links so that whenever we share that particular link it will count as my so you have to create your contributor uh, on link with the contributor id whether you are going with the skillers path or the influencers path this is the fifth steps okay once you uh, do done with this now uh, you can you, you have to share this uh, that particular link with your friends you can share it on linkedin you can share it over your facebook instagram so like you can also share with the uh, whatsapp communities and uh, all all the uh, like you know where um, students and uh, maybe uh, yeah your college mates can uh, chat together and like it's kind of community if you have any kind of community you can share with that okay so this is the sixth step and uh, uh, now this is the uh, seventh step in which we have to uh, like once we start sharing our like uh, personalized link with the contributor id we can get our progression mail progress mail progression mail you can also say or you can go to the website of the progression so uh, we get this mail on every saturday to between saturday to monday in this we we got like all the numbers like how many uh, people uh, you know completed our uh, modules how many are uh, 
visited our uh, websites or something so you can get the mail of progress on progress uh, on between saturday to sunday or monday this is the seventh step and the last step get your onboarding mail obviously if you're done with your like target so like uh, whether you are choosing skillers or the influencers so they have a specific uh, target if you done with in you know, a particular quarter that is three month of a period if you're done with that so you you get onboarding mail with of microsoft ambassador pro, uh, ambassador student ambassador in the first month of next quarter so this is all uh, all the things i want to cover and if you want detailed video on each steps i will recover again but i already discuss all the thing on my channel you can go and watch that okay and the very important step that is ninth step if you like the video like it share and subscribe okay thank you everyone